Welcome to day four of Me Made May. My name is Vicki, otherwise known as Heartland Knits, and my channel is all about the things that I love to do, mostly knitting and sewing and roses and shoes. And if that kind of thing sounds like something you're interested in, please do subscribe. That would be lovely. Thank you. Today, let me tell you what I'm wearing. Um, this is my favorite pattern for uh, a knit wrap dress. This is Vogue 8896. It comes in two lengths, sort of a knee length and uh, maxi length, and then sleeveless or short sleeved. Um, I've hacked the short sleeves. I've done a, a slash and spread to make these little sort of butterfly sort of sleeves, which I really like. And this fabric is so nice. I, I sewed this dress this winter, but I'd had the fabric for maybe 18 months. It's a Ralph Lauren matte jersey from Mood Fabrics, and I, I've already checked. They don't have it anymore. It was a delight to sew. Just really, really nice, well-behaved. So let me stand back so you can see the whole effect. I also lengthened the pattern by like maybe an inch and a half just because I felt like that was a little more flattering um, length. I'm all dialed up today because it is my cancerversary. Um, 10 years plus one. I don't like that number, so I'm calling it over 10 or 10 plus one. Uh, <laughs> I know, number thing. So 10 plus one years ago, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and this was the, this is the anniversary of the big, big, big surgery. Um, it is not something that I celebrate having been diagnosed, but this is the day I sort of feel that I got rid of it because they removed the big tumor, and um, I did have five months of chemo after that. They call that mop-up chemo because you can have microscopic cells. Um, nobody, at least always me, <laughs> thought that I would be here this many years later. I don't know really why. Um, survivor's guilt is a real thing. Um, but I don't know. So anyway, I always feel like I need to celebrate on this day because I'm still standing. So Wednesdays are my Sundays because I started this last year because I just did not feel comfortable being in a, a big church with a whole bunch of people. Um, I did go on Easter this year because Easter was on my birthday and I've been waiting my whole entire life to have Easter be on my birthday. When I was six, like, like five or six, they looked up when that was going to happen and I, I remember clearly saying, I will never be that old. <laughs> so I had to. So there were 900 people. I was very, very stressed out and thought, no, I am not going to keep doing this. And so Wednesdays are my Sunday. So the reason why I bought this fabric was specifically to go with the shoes that I'm wearing. These, this is the first time I've worn them. I got them almost two years ago. And this is the first time I've worn them. I love them so much. And the well, maybe not the best thing, but I got them for free. And so those who aren't on my Instagram, who don't um, see all the shoes that I post, um, I've always loved shoes. And as a side effect of one of the chemo drugs that I took, um, it's a quite common thing is to get neuropathy in your feet and also in your hands. Um, I had it um, in my feet and was blessed enough that it went away. It doesn't go away for a lot of people, um, but it went away for me. But I had the weird side effect that it made my feet grow. So I always had, I had this big shoe collection and now they were too small. And I thought, if I have to build a new shoe collection, I'm going to find the most fun shoes that I can. And friends of mine, knitter friends of mine, um, some, most of them from Canada, but a few from the U.S., 
um, we're, uh, we're big fans of this Canadian shoe designer called John Fluwag. And they would, you know, we were on like a email sort of discussion group and we would, you know, they would talk about the shoes and go, go look at the website. And I thought they were really fun. So on my first year, Cancerversary, I got my first pair, first pair of Fluwags. Well, I usually get um, a pair around this time of year, either, you know, my birthday or this day or Fluwag day, which is the designer's birthday is on May 15th and he, any, everything is on sale. It's like the one day that you can get a lot of the different styles on sale. So two years ago, all the stores were closed, of course, and they had a contest. Um, so every so many shoes that were purchased, um, you, they were for free. You got for free. And I was lucky enough to win one. And not only that, is the designer, John Fluvog, called me to tell me I won. So I got to talk to him and I got to tell him the whole story about starting to collect his shoes because I, you know, because my feet had grown as a result of having had cancer. And I, I originally got them because I wanted to wear them for um, show and tell at um, knitting camp that I go to in the summer. And then of course knitting camp was canceled that year and then it was canceled the next year and then it was canceled this year. So I thought I need to wear these shoes and I made this dress. I bought the fabric specifically because these shoes need sort of a, a solid color. I might have knitted shawls and things to match these shoes. But anyway, that is the story of the outfit. The rest of this day, I am going to spend pruning more roses because it is that time. And at least, and the sun, you can see, the sun is gloriously shining today. It feels like forever since we have seen the sun. So what I want you to do is to go out and celebrate in some way, however you like to. I might have bought a cupcake at the cupcake store, but however you like to celebrate, let me know and um, down in the comments below and yeah we'll have a big celebration because nobody nobody expected me to be here this many long so that's all for now until i see you tomorrow from my heart to yours go out and celebrate mm -hmm.